and I'm the director and producer of Fencing for the Edge, a feature documentary about the sport of fencing and what it means to navigate through high school in today's pressure-filled, high-achievement society. What you're seeing is derived from the weapons that we used to have combat with. The foil comes from the light court sword, so the target area is just a tor torso because you had to hit a vital organ. The epee was a dueling sword, and you know, in the heat of you know, a defending your honor of your family, your wife, or whatever, the target area is the whole body, and you can both score at the same time. And then the saber comes from the cavalry weapon, so you can cut and stab. And both the foil and the saber have what we call what a logical human being would do. So if you're about to get hit, the, the natural thing is to block, not just to try to kill the other person. And with that, that sort of sets the tone for what this web sport is now. We don't have a presence like a football team would have. We practice in the cafeteria. Still, it's in a hallway. Um. <laughs> Once I started fencing, and I actually turned out to be not half bad at it, I decided to stick with it. I started in the 20s, and uh, uh, developed very much so a barringer in, in the early 30s. I think one of the aspects was that uh, maybe the Ivy League schools that had, had fencing, and, uh, and some of the public high schools probably thought that uh, if uh, the Ivy League has fencing, We'll do it, and we may eventually get into uh, an, uh, an elite school. Take up on it. It's a legitimate sport. It will get you into a great college, but more than that, you make friends and you support each other as a team. And hardly 10% hardly of the fencers out there in your age group get the availability to do that, but you would know it because to you, this is second nature. You learn teamwork. You learn responsibility for yourself, you learn sportsmanship. I've been in production on this film for over three years and we're finally ready to edit our 400 hours of footage, but we can't do it alone. We need your help. We are proud to have partnered with Women Make Movies to give you tax deductible receipts for your donations. Thanks to your help in our last fundraising campaign, we were able to film last year's high school season in New Jersey, which ended in an exciting finals between two of the teams we filmed. The favorite, Bernard's, set to settle for nothing less than a state title. It's going to be our way at the end. We're going to, we're going to have 14 bouts won, and I don't care what they have. Editing a documentary can be very expensive because it takes a long time, which is why we need your help in fundraising for this next phase of the project. And while I've begun the process, I've only been able to work on the film in my spare time and when I'm not working on other projects. We also have production costs that have to be met, which is why I need your help so I can commit full time and have assistance to complete the project. So Holly has been doing an awesome documentary really for the last two years. She's been profiling both New Jersey fencing which is a really interesting case study of fencing. There's over 50 varsity teams that are now in New Jersey. So it's, it's sort of a, a demonstration of what fencing can be. Uh, she's also been following us since even before we had programs. So the first meeting where I walked into a school and was like, hey, would you guys want a fencing program? She was there. Um, so she's trying to fund her uh, documentary as well. I think it'll be a really great uh, documentary for the whole sport, so. I think what you're doing is extremely important. Uh, because uh, the one thing I don't feel that fencing does very well is, we tell, is telling our story. With your donation, we hope to have a rough cut of the film complete in time for Summer Nationals. As one of our perks, we're offering tickets to a screening of our rough cut. We are also offering digital downloads of the completed film, as well as special good luck messages from our national team members, Olympians, and national champions. Check out our other perks on the page and join our family and receive updates on the film. Okay, Alex, this is the moment of truth. It's either you or him. I want you to go out there and fence like I know you can and like I know you will. And if you do that, we're going to come out of here tonight with two victories, guys. Two victories. Fencing has been part of my life for 15 years, and I really want to see this film finished so I can help share the sport I love with the rest of the world. 
Thanks to all our previous donors, and I hope you'll join us and help support Fencing for the Edge. You should join.